वेलकम टू इंडेक्स टैब घर की बात टुडे वी हैव विद अस मिस्टर हिमांशु बाला हु इज द ओनर ऑफ बी फॉर एम रिलोकेशन सर्विसेज बेस्ड आउट ऑफ मुंबई ही हैज अ टोटल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ 15 इयर्स ही फाउंडेड दिस कंपनी 4 इयर्स बैक एंड डील्स इन ऑल वर्टिकल्स ऑफ लोकल डोमेस्टिक एंड इंटरनेशनल रिलोकेशंस हेलो हिमांशु थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग हियर ऑन इंडेक्स टैब घर की बात इट्स माय प्लेजर So we had a few questions that the home buyers had in mind regarding packing and moving, and we wanted an expert opinion on those. So firstly, we would want to know when shifting from one place to another, what are the top things we should keep in mind while finalizing the vendor? Okay, so the first thing uh, what you should definitely consider is that the vendors that you are considering have all the proper documentations in place, like they have their uh, PAN card, Aadhar card, shops establishment certificate, their GST certificate, any other trade license certificate which they have. that should definitely be in place and you should refrain from anybody who doesn't have these in place and the second as a person who's moving homes you need to properly define the scope of work up uh, what all is that you want to move what are the timeline that you're looking at uh, what are the constraints at the origin place and also at the destination place whether the lift is available or not every communication that you can probably give to the moving company will help them to give you a proper and more accurate quote and what could be the tentative price of uh, moving okay so whether you're moving locally whether you're moving say, from one city to another you're moving from one state to another or even if you're moving cross country in any move the cost is defined by two parameters one is the volume that you are moving and the volume is measured in terms of cubic feet uh, it could be a small tempo load it could be a full truck load that's one of the criteria where the packing and the labor charges get defined and the second is the transport cost so the transport cost is a function of the distance of transportation so if it's a local move there it's one cost and if it's a long distance move say a, a bombay delhi 1400 km or a bombay bangalore 1000 km obviously the transport cost will be relatively much higher so these are the two parameters and what are the materials that are used for packing all these okay. products so there are standard packing material which are used uh, one is the corrugated carton the corrugated paper rolls your bubble roll for all the fragile material uh, the bopp tape which you have and then there are certain specific special material which are used by some moving companies these are all moving blankets which are used by for electronics and uh, for the furniture and there are certain special material called as fiber drums and pvc crates uh, which are used for all the fragile material crockery show pieces so it always makes sense for buyers to ask whether the mover is using the moving blankets and the pvc crates because they offer added protection and what would be the things to keep in mind when we want to move our vehicle okay so especially when you are moving cars and bikes uh, you need to ensure that one your rc is valid second your insurance policy is valid never move a car or a bike without uh, with an expired insurance policy third where 90% of the clients forget is their puc should be valid if the puc is expired and there is any claim in the process of transport or even driving the claim will get rejected so this is my advice to always keep your puc and the insurance valid and is there any other insurance offered on the transported goods yeah so when it comes to the household goods we have two kinds of insurance which are offered by all the moving companies one is a basic transit insurance which is a cheaper insurance but it has a very restricted scope it covers only fire accident and to a certain extent theft and then there is a full cover which is given by most of the moving companies it is called as an fov freight on value it covers any kind of external physical damage apart from the fire accident theft right from the point of packing till the point of delivery of the shipment so i always advise that uh, you should take the full risk cover rather than the transit how trained are the laborers to pack these goods so that's a very good question that you have asked in fact this is the question which every customer should ask every moving company that is considering how old are the laborers in the system whether they are on the payroll or whether they are outsourced and uh, how skilled are they in terms of handling modular furniture and all that stuff dismantling installation and number or as whether they have been verified by any authority like the police so this is question which the customer should definitely ask the moving company and what if one wants to cancel or reschedule the move okay again this is a very good point uh, most likely most moving companies don't charge anything for rescheduling or or for cancellation some companies take a token advance so it's very important the client should ask the moving company if they take token advance what is their policy whether they will refund the token advance or they will forfeit the token advance so it's very important to ask at the survey and assessment stage itself and the checklist of the transported goods is to be maintained by the client or by the packers and movers okay so during the process of packing the packing list is made by the vendor one copy is shared with the customer and the customer should take adequate precaution to count the number of packages at destination to ensure that nothing is missed out during the delivery if anything is missed out he feels you should immediately report it to the a uh, point of contact at the moving company and 
probably adequate action should be taken thereafter. And are there any other terms and policies uh, one should be aware of? So, uh, policy in the sense, uh, 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 you should be aware of the constraints or restrictions in the housing societies, both your existing society where you're living and in the new society. What are the lift timings and uh, what are the restrictions for the entry exit of the labor? So that's as part of the movement part is concerned. But more importantly, uh, the client should first define the scope of work and then talk about the pricing with the moving company. So that's my advice to all the customers which is there. And third, of course, only go through moving companies which are verified through some way or the other. Don't just pick a random moving company uh, because at the end of the day, it's your household stuff. So the value may not be very high, but it has a lot of sentimental value attached with it. Thank you so much, Mr. Himanshu. Uh, we had a really great conversation. All these inputs will definitely help the home buyers in uh, a hassle-free move. Sure, definitely. Thank you.